edit the stream description. There we go. Wait, at Banana Cat, Strem. What? Second, something needs my stream link. Alrighty. Alright, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna take a swig. The wheel of fate is turning. Rebel one. Action. Ooh, bad DP. No burst though. I think I think Heat was definitely waiting for the burst. Let's set that pauses. That's a big confirm to to drop it, so. It's a good burst bait point though for sure. High mark, heat working on a perfect. Ooh. He got the instant the instant block on Buster. But he still got countered afterwards. Damn, round one. Heat coming in with a perfect. Asserting his dominance for the rest of the exhibition. Gets hit by the overhead. Nice confirm. Man, getting hit by a netplay overhead and it wasn't even a gauntlet Hades. What is this Ragnar shit that we're looking at? DP's out. Good shit. Dive kicks. Nothing. One thing, I, if I was on heat... Like, if I was Heat right now, uh, one thing I noticed when he played, the two of these guys played in the event just now, uh, Risu is really good at sort of the shimmy to bait out the uh, the dive kick and then punish on his land. It's plus unblocked, like it's really safe. But if you miss it entirely, Ragnar just gets to 5 CU. And that's, that's big damage. So if I were him, I would... He's probably going to have to pay attention to that. Too far for the throw. It looked like he was ready for the tech anyway. Low mark. Goes with a double cross up, nothing happens. Ooh, base the DP and no punish. Heat, you are killing me with the amount of DPs that you are not punishing today. You've left like 30k of damage on the table. <laughs> He's not dead off this. Risu does not have the meter to kill him. It'd be hard to kill him even if he did. But he is just buying lots of time for both marks to wear off. Base the throw. Base the EA, and just like that, Risu takes game one. Wow. Good show, damn. That was a string of really smart decisions on Risu's part. He basically just made like five correct reads in a row. That was, that was nuts. I must continue to take a swig. Yeah, I want to get a bot at some point to uh, let people, like, exclamation point Discord so we don't have to post links. Be nice. Um, I feel like hydration bot is never a bad thing to have. <laughs> I love that intro. I like all the, the custom intros where it's just like anime beam clash. 3C off the start. First hit on heat. So this is something I was noticing before with both Okam and Risu. So uh, heat is doing the Azreal thing where you get your high mark and then you want to go high because getting the, the high hit again with the high mark means you get a full confirm. You get a lot of damage. Ooh! Oh, it's so tasty, burst bait. Risu is another person like me who just lives for fucking burst baits. He's very good at them too. Um, <laughs> what I was saying is that I haven't seen something I haven't seen from Heat much today is the whole idea of like the the mix up is not necessarily always 
yeah, I get my next big hit on the second overhead. But sometimes you just want to go low anyway, even if you're not going to get the confirm, because then you have both marks on them. And when you're in a situation where you have both marks on you, that mix-up is fucking terrifying. And it could be either of them. It, it's just like a way stronger situation, I feel like I don't see him doing that as much. But maybe he's like second-guessing himself, like maybe he's thinking like, oh, that's what you would expect me to do, and so he's going high a second time. I don't know. But he's been doing it pretty consistently. Early burst. No way to bait that. Nice instant block on the five, the JC, I mean. Now he's in the corner. Another full confirm. Ragnar's gonna get a little bit of health back here. Art. Interesting. RC to hit him again and throw reset. Goes for the burst, though. No confirm in the 6C. That actually really sucks. 6C starter. I don't, I don't know how easy it is to confirm, but it's definitely a really good starter. It's one of the ones that gives you negative damage proration. Um... For those of you who are maybe unaware, paration is how things scale in this game. So hit stun and damage paration, at, the longer your combo goes on, the more hits you have. The less damage, <coughs> excuse me, the less damage each of those hits and the less hit stun each of those hits will have. And certain starters give you a bonus sort of buffer to play with so that the rest of your combo is going to be doing more damage. Risu powerfully taking the first two sets though. I'm thinking he has a... Maybe he cooled down a bit too much. But it's it's information. You know. Uh, one of these exhibitions isn't over until, you know, somebody's at 10, so. I don't know if somebody added me. Oh, Labras did join. Welcome to the server, dude. So Heat does have the option to switch if he wants. Like I said before, I don't think I've ever seen Heat play somebody else. Um, and I say ever as if I have known Heat for a very long time, but I have not. Um, but in the number of few events that we've done, he's been in. Uh, I haven't seen him play anyone but Azrael, so I don't know, really know if he's... Skiva says he has a Taker. I believe it. I'm not sure why you would want to play Taker over Azrael, though. I feel like Azrael just does everything Taker does and way better at all of it. <laughs> Let's see how we start this. Ooh. So, 5C is probably Azrael's best, like, neutral button, but it's a little rough to try and do it as your round start for reasons like that, where if somebody just holds up forward, they will... Ooh, there's a little bit of lag there. Hate to see it. Um, what I was saying is, it's very easy to jump over at round start, because it does have sort of a traveling hitbox to it. Um, and it's definitely punishable. <laughs> Ooh, eats the gauntlet. Unfortunate. I think that's the first mix-up with Gauntlet that Risu's gone for in this set, so kind of out of kind of nowhere. So it's not necessarily a a super big surprise. That hit. It's very hard to react to. Gauntlet is probably one of the most powerful net play overheads that we have in this game. Come on, Heat! You got to get around. He's, he's downloading, you know. He's on dial-up right now, the download, but, you know, eventually he'll get it. Nice throw reset. He was definitely not ready for that. I have no fucking idea, honestly, how Rishu instant blocks as much as he does online. Like, I do it, I, I try to instant block all the time. And maybe I'm just a weirdo who's too sensitive to net play and is not good at it, but it just fucking, it, it really is just so hard for me. Like, I, I miss that so often, so it's really, really impressive that he manages to do it so much. Risu currently up 3-0. I want, I want to see Heat get stuff started. Come on, man. Labras said it's hilarious if people who complain about Gauntlet Hades get hit by it offline as well. I feel like most of the people who complain about Gauntlet Hades are like who are just... I feel like most of the people who bitch in general... Like, I bitch a lot, to be fair. But like... 
for me, it's a way to deal with frustration. And I, I don't know. I feel like a lot of the times people are like, well, Gauntlet Hades is broken. You know, like that kind of bitching. Uh, and not necessarily bitching about the online of it. It's not like... Like, a great example is I feel like every... At Locals, before sort of all the quarantine stuff, uh, I have, we have two really good Ragnar players at my scene in Boston. Uh, I feel like I have been able to anti-air every single fucking... Uh, every single fucking scythe that has ever thrown. Like, I, I anti-air like 9 out of 10 of them, and I feel like I never get to... I always get counter-hit online. <laughs> Annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, I feel like Gauntlet Hades is one of those moves that's like... It's it, it's like Jin's overhead, right? Is It's like... In an offline environment, it's a, they're fine moves. Like, they're fast and good overheads that lead to... Uh, you know, they're, they they lead to combo, right? Um, I know it has no reward unless you have 50 meter, but it's still one of the fastest overheads in the game. And th those overheads are reactable offline, right? Like, I feel like when you start to mix in four to five frames of net play delay, that's when it's like, okay, you're starting to extend stuff, you know, out of, like, normal human reaction time. First time Heat's getting shit going, though. Hold on a second. There's some hype going on. Goes for the... Again, he seems to just... Every single time... He's gone high every single time. And Reese's shown time and time again that he's ready for it. That's a full fucking confirm, though. He gets the overhead again. Like I, I mean, I guess do it five times and the fifth time it'll work. But he's, he's gone overhead every single time. And, like, Risu has either blocked and, you know, making him give up his turn. Or just dp through it. Ooh. Doesn't get the confirm, though. Unfortunate. Yeah, he, I think it's getting to it. Like, he's... I, I respect that he's playing conservatively even at this point. But... It seems like he's he's getting a little nervous in the corner there. Oh, that's so unfortunate. He, he went for the high block, and I think he just... The way that you punish Gauntlet Hades is you block the first hit high, and the second hit is also a high, but it's uh, it doesn't hit crouching. So you can just crouch under it and punish. You can low-profile it with basically anything. So I think he, he went to block the high hit and just transferred to blocking low too quickly. And I hit him. There's an overhead. Overhead counter hit too. He gets full confirm in both marks. He's got shit going now. <laughs> gets hit by another gauntlet. That's... that's. I, I'm not saying he gets hit by another gauntlet to be like, ah, oh, damn, I can't believe he's getting hit by those. Like, gauntlet is a very, very powerful tool online. Like, <laughs> there's a reason people bitch about it. It's, it's frankly unfair sometimes. Because the game, the game isn't designed around, you know, five to, you know, somewhere between four and six uh, frames of, like, input and visual delay. Like, it just isn't. So certain moves just become better or worse. I respect the RC. I respect the burst. This is literally next hit wins. Though, he does have his burst. He's definitely in. And Risu doesn't have any meter now that he's ca Oh, baits the burst immediately. That was so smart, but he drops the combo. Oh my god. Oh, and he gets frame trapped. Damn, good shit. Keep on the board. <laughs> Reese's like, wrong move. Yeah, it looked like it. That was... That, that was one of the fastest burst baits I've seen. So I, what I think happened, if I remember correctly, just look, thinking about it, he super jumped and was falling JC. And then when he got the JC hit, he jump canceled that still because he had he was his double jump, right? And that's what the burst bait was. Damn. When he bursts, he's invuln. So I whiff my falling JC into block, but he got hit by the JC. I think is what happened. Unless you hit him with JB. 
Yeah, I think I. I mean, I don't know. I'd have to watch the tapes. But what I think what I think happened is you super jumped, and then falling JC hit him. Yeah, you didn't hit a button after, like you you jumped and blocked is what I think you did. I think you hit him with the falling JC and then jump canceled that into block and that was the burst bait point. It was very fast. And then his bur blocking the burst grounded you. I think that's what happened. You know, I, I haven't actually watched the tapes, but I think that's what happened. <laughs> All right, Risu's got heat in the corner now. Oh, I, I that was I mean he, there was no reaction to that overhead. That was that was a read. So it works out really well for him. And now we are bringing him to the other corner. Risu won't be there with him, but he's in the corner now again. Interesting. I think. Risu was respecting the RC. I mean, obviously. That was interesting. That even after he didn't, see, he saw not the RC. He he didn't get him with something. Burst. That's a very scary point to burst in. Yeah. So that's. It, I get what he was going for because he he basically had full meter, and like dying with like burst and full meter, like full resources on round one, he's gonna get his burst back this round at some point. Um, but it's still, that's a rough situation to be in. Like, he could get mixed up three times in a row and not have a burst and die. You know? It's like, I get where he's coming from, but it's it's still, it's still sort of a, a sus burst, in my opinion. <laughs> Both of them go for the really big, dumb gorilla move, and unfortunately the scythe wins. He's got it, though. And th this connects, it doesn't look like it, it combos, but it does. And Heat takes it going to round three. So neither of them have burst going into this, but Risu has considerably more of his gauge filled up, so he has slight advantage going into game th into round three here. Heat being really smart with the fuzzy blocks. Nice DP. I don't know if he just felt that something slower was coming or if he saw that overhead. I definitely want to see that overhead. Oh, I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but that was an amazing fucking DP bait. Counter hit throw. Oh, drops it. I don't know if he was... Tr I don't know if that burst baits. I don't think it does. Nice DP. Still got burst. Both of them full resources... Or full meter. No burst on Risu. Now 50 meter. Burst still on heat. This is a, a scary situation for Risu. He's, he's literally one hit from death. This isn't anything. We don't burst those. That's something. You burst that, and that's not the point you burst it at. All of Ragna's move, like, the, the confirm for that is 60. I, be I believe that's 60, is the one where he, it puts him airborne. And from that point, everything that he does until he lands again, until his normal is landing again, is is very easily burst baitable. That's a very tough situation to be in. I respect, like, I think he, he knows, knows that. So he was basically like, he's not going to think I'm going to do this. But Risu is going to do that. <laughs> he's going to bait it. <laughs> that was really smart from both players, I think. It was just a rock, paper, scissors, and he came out on the bottom. Yeah, no, the, bursting that... During the first sort of point of Ragnar's string there, until you're seeing the, like, JC come out or some of the bigger, slower buttons, it's really dangerous to actually burst him. Like... It's just a hard point to be in. I think in that position, I obviously commentating, I, I can sort of see both sides of it. I don't know if I would do this in a moment. But what I, in that situation, I think I rely on Risu doing the burst bait. Because to do the burst bait, you essentially have to drop the combo. So it, it's just a, a choice between is he going to do the burst bait and drop the combo or am I going to get comboed? But you have a few seconds there to sort of think about it. Another EA. Last one got baited, but that one works. High mark. Ooh. 
interesting. Counter hit JC into a tick through. I think counter hit JC is like a real confirm. Like you'll get damage off of that. So it's interesting to see him go for a throw reset. Burst, I do not agree with that. You are so far down in this this round. And now you're dead and you're going into another match point on Risu with no burst. Hmm. Ooh, catches him back dashing. Ooh, too far for the throw. Doesn't work out. Catches the so what I was talking about earlier with uh Azrael's backdash being so good, uh Ragna actually has some of the best normals. No, I wouldn't say best normals. He's very good normals for dealing with that backdash. Because his 5B is notoriously active as fuck. Uh his 5C, his JC, are these huge buttons that stay active for very long times and cover a lot of space. So even if you get at, he backdashes through the first start of it, a lot of times it'll still hit him. Ooh, blocks the EA. No punish on that. Most EAs are safe on block. Nice throw tech. No! Oh my god, Heat! I believe in you! Come on! This is yours! Oh, and it whiffs! Okay. So he he did, just did what I was saying he should do the previous round, or the previous game, where he basically relied on Risu going for the burst bait to get out of the combo instead of bursting. He then hit him afterwards and <laughs> baited that burst, but I digress. Currently one to five in Risu's favor. I would like to see... I don't, like... It, it's it's hard, because it's not like he is playing badly. It's just that it seems like Risu, in most of these situations, has been... He's got the right read. Like, he's got the download, is what it feels like. It seems like he knows what he wants to do. And is just good at responding appropriately to everything he's trying to do. Like, he seems to know when he's frustrated. He knows when he wants to burst. He knows when he has to burst. Or die. Oh. I think he expected the instant air dash JC from Risu, and that's why that anti air happened. That is rough. To get Ragnar perfected. That was a very early burst bait, and I, I kind of understand. Like, early momentum burst sort of thing. That was a disgusting corner cross up. I don't know, how did that even work? Did he walk out a little bit? Or maybe he just wasn't fully in the corner. It's actually it's really hard to actually steal the corner in this game. So like when I see shit like that, I'm I'm usually really interested in that. Good DP, RC, and he has to burst at some point. Here. But no, he doesn't. I'm wrong. I, I didn't I didn't realize how short that was going to be. Huh? Got to get more out of that. Yeah. It feels like... Like, I don't know how to necessarily uh, critique some of this stuff, because I don't... I'm not a better player than either of these players. Like, legitimately. But it seems like he is sort of falling into the trap of sort of doing... You know, doing some of the same stuff in the same situations. Pretty, like, consistently. Like, that was... Every time that he has done first hit RC of uh, DP, he has instant air ba dashed back for a, I think it's JC, uh, that spin aerial. And so that time, what Risu did was he sent, I don't know if he backdashed or just shimmied away, but he just moved away so that he was whiffing as he fell down and hit him for it. You know, and it's sort of those, like, that 
he's done the same thing three times, and Risu has adjusted to it each time. And I'm not seeing that adjustment as much on Heat's side. <laughs> okay, I appreciate round start run up overhead into both both pips though. That's good. GPs. I I'm not entirely sure if he is giving Risu not enough or too much respect. I feel like it's not enough. It's like he's DPing on wake up. He's get he's had his. TP entirely whiff like three or four times now. Nice back dash. Oh, gets the gauntlet into throw reset. This is death. Oh, never mind. He drops it. Oh, he didn't have the meter. Actually, that shouldn't have been death. It might have been close. That's death, though. And you don't burst that. I'm glad he didn't. Like, he. Tech, if he was mashing a burst, he would have burst out of that, but like he wouldn't have baited it, but then he's literally chipped damage away from death. Again, he goes high. He goes high there and just gets DP'd for it. It's, it's... Nice block. Yep, an RC. Keeps it safe. Keeps it his turn, too. It, but, like... You know what I mean? Like... He had the meter to, to burst bait that. And he did it again. He bursted in the exact same situation last time. The... What I was saying is, like, Risu has proven on multiple occasions in this set so far that he can react to uh, the overhead with a DP. And I see Heat go for the DP again, or go for the overhead again. You know, it's like, like obviously the 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 no mix up mix up is a real thing, right? Like that's a thing that people do. Risu takes another game, damn it. But I, I feel like not. Yeah, I don't know, Skiba. He might have. Yeah, he might have. But, you, like, you see what I mean, where it's, uh, the, the no mix-up mix-up doesn't work unless your opponent is respecting that you'll do another option. And I don't think he has... Risu has proved that he can deal with the mix-up. It seems like he is not proving that he can deal with Risu dealing with the mix-up yet. So Risu's just dealing with the mix-up, right? At least that's what I'm, I'm sort of picking up from this. I really like Azrael's intros. He like breaks all of the bones in his body, cracking his knuckles. It's pretty cool. Sixty is a. It's sort of a dangerous button, honestly. Like I'm seeing him throw it out there. Like at that spacing, it's good, but it's again, it's slow. Personally, I would be a little apprehensive about trying something like that against Risu again, who's proven he can react to those overheads. He can react to some of those slower buttons. Momentum burst. He can't burst bait at that point. I think, like, I feel like he hasn't gotten the DP as nearly as much as he needs to, like, for it to, to come out as much as it has. Like, that was a case of Risu respecting him too much. Where it's like, he's baited five DPs and then he gets hit by a DP. You know what I mean? It's like, he won't do it again, but he did. It was like... I don't know, there just seems to be sort of this lopsided <laughs> respect going on. And it's definitely working out in Risu's favor most of the time. I feel like one thing that Heat was doing a really good job of during the event 
uh, that I just saw was... So if you instant block uh, Gustav, uh, it's safe, but it's no longer plus. So you don't get to press a button after it. It is no longer your turn. Whereas normally, if they don't instant block it, it is your turn. And he was reacting to people instant blocking it, but he just got jabbed out of it. And that might just be another point of his, like, not respecting Risu enough, or respecting him too much. I, like, I, it's hard for me to tell, honestly. He, he's in a great position right now, though. And he gets burst baited again. <laughs> like, you can't... That point in Ragnar's combo is you can't burst. He's going to bait it every single time. Like, especially if you do it every single time. Like, I feel like you've gotten burst baited at that point, like, six times this set. Like, that's one of those points where you just... You just sort of have to trust... Like, the, the, the decision isn't easy to make, right? Like, and I'm not trying to make, make this seem like... I think he's making the wrong decisions. It's, like, at that point, you have this point of, if you burst early there, Ragna, he could have chosen to go for a super to make it so you couldn't burst, but if you already have the burst coming out, you'll burst out of the super. But we have yet to have a, a uh, you know, an example of Risu doing that. He's always gone for the burst bait there. So it's like, why wouldn't he? And especially if you keep falling for it, why wouldn't he? Now he's going to spend this whole combo getting rid of these marks. I think he's actually dead. No, he's not. That was the scariest burst I've ever seen in my life. Get some damage, though. He'll get one of the marks here. Goes high. Go low. And just gets anti there. Damn. Like, Risu just seems to have his number. It seems, it, it almost seems like he's overthinking it, maybe, right? Like, like, I, like, I can't tell if it's too much respect or not enough respect. Maybe he's flip-flopping between those two things. Like, maybe, because I do this a lot, too, where it's like, you're essentially putting yourself in a mix-up, right? <laughs> like, like, is he going to do it? I don't think he's going to do it. Is he going to do it? Like, it's, there, there doesn't seem to be the, the sort of... He, he doesn't have the read, right? And so, like, when you don't have the read, it's... When you're consistently making the wrong read, you start to doubt your reads. And when you start to doubt your reads, it's going to get even harder for you to make the correct read. I think, personally. So, I'm wondering if, if he's sort of... You know, sort of... Uh, sort of overthinking it. He's going for the nine-game comeback? It's It's possible. Like, he's not out of it till he's out of it, right? Like, it is very possible to have a reverse sweep. It's just, from what we're seeing so far, it's just, I'm just trying to sort of, I don't know. I'm just trying to analyze. Maybe I'm looking too deep into it. Burst of there again. I'm surprised Risu actually didn't go for the bait there. I think that's another example of Risu gave him too much respect. He's burst at that point every single time he's gotten hit by that, when he had his burst. And he's baited it five times. Walk back on start. Like, very structural round starts. He's not playing stupid. It just seems like he's not making the... You know, he's obviously got the wrong read. So, I don't know. Tries to low crush. So that jump move, uh, Azrael's jump move, does low crush. So he, he was expecting like a 2B or something as the wake up. And wanted to go over it, but obviously Risu just jabbing out. Get by the overhead. So that's a good place to burst, so he has to go for the pickup there. I don't know, like obviously the, the counter assault whiffed. I don't know if that was purposeful on Risu's part. If it was, that is the dirtiest looking fucking CA bait setup I've ever seen in my life. I think it was just a bad... I think it was just a complex of circumstances that was really, really bad for Heat, you know? Yeah, that, that's what I thought. Like, that was, that was so perfectly spaced that it was just really crazy. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's, like, really good on you anyway. So, Risu is currently on... Uh, 
I guess match match point set point. I don't know what you call it, exhibition point. <laughs> I love it. The <laughs> I, I honestly like I have the fact that it's worked twice now, I have a lot of respect for the walk up six D them sort of thing. That's the round start. Now he's that's a good point point to burst to. Uh six D is the only drive move that it puts him airborne like that so that he can do the baits after it. Goes for the far overhead again. Uh, oh, I don't. I think he was dead there if he if he played his cards right, but he, oh, it works out for him anyway. But I think Risu had him in a, in a in a kill combo there. You are see the the projectile end of that, and you can continue after it. Gets the overhead. Just gets DP'd after. And gets Gauntlet Hades. This is so rough. I'm glad he didn't burst that. I thought he would for a second. Really smart burst bait. That I think that's what Pete has needed to do more of over the course of this whole set, where he relied on Risu going for the bait to get out of the situation rather than bursting. Nice block. He's got RC to make it safe. Both marks. Make anything happen? Yup. I think he's got it. Hell yeah, he does. That was a really, really, really good confirm there. And Heat takes the first round in what I feel like is a while at this point. Like, nice. Good job. Like, very stable comeback. Unfortunate 5C, wrong side. I feel like he wanted 2C and just didn't get it. Interesting. Gets the overhead. Gets the cross up. Spends the top mark. High mark, I guess. The oh high mark. Anything? Oh, just a counter hit after it. And Risu. Ah, <laughs> uh, can't do him like that, man. Ends the exhibition with an Astral. So, I don't think he is actually in the stream chat. Uh, Risu, so I would say GG in, in uh, looking for fight channel.